We are Garrett and Jessica, and we are the first team to arrive at the elimination station. It sucks being the first team here. We should still be racing. Coming to Kufok, the town is just like filled with a lot of shops. It's like an island, There's water around it. The majority of the roads are not paved. Everyone's riding their motos, whether there's mud up to their ankles or up to their knees. Hi. Hi. My name is Lena. I'm the manager. <laughs> How are you? Jessica. Welcome to Casa Karen. It's very tropical. There's lots of plants everywhere. Um, and there's a pool area, which is surrounded by all the casitas. It feels very surreal to be the first team elimination station. So how is everything? How do you feel? A little tired. Tired, right? Yeah. yeah Cranky. Guess. Cranky. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's how it is. It sucks. I mean, we didn't come here for a vacation in Vietnam. We came to run around the world. It sucks to be here. We were in second place, and all of a sudden, we are the first team out. I think it's just weird, too, because no one's here. I'm just bummed because we got to use none of our skills. We didn't get to do all the, like, exciting and cool things that involve, like, physical stuff or extreme stuff. Yeah, because a bunch of ducks. So, who do you think we have to welcome here tomorrow? Poker girls, uh, maybe Kanan and Micah. They came down pretty low in the last couple legs. It's tough to tell, you know. I, I wouldn't have put us here ever, really. I, I thought we were top three for sure. I think it's such a wild card to tell who can be next because, I mean, look at us. Anytime an animal challenge comes, people have a hard time. It'll be interesting to see who comes here next. Yeah. I'm not coping very well just because I'm gonna go stir crazy. Like, I already am stir crazy. It just sucks. <laughs> Jessica's been really bummed, you know, ever since we got knocked out of the race. And when we started the race, I was planning on proposing to her, you know, at End City when we were on the finish line mat. What would have happened? We met seven years ago, and it's been off and on, but I've been thinking about asking her to marry me for a long time, and if I do it now, it might lift her spirit. I think Jessica will say yes. I, I hope so. He proposed and I said yes. and So many emotions. Totally unexpected and crazy. I had no idea. I'm happy. I have my future wife now. <laughs> That's weird. I picked out a ring and insured it so I could bring it along on the race. So I carried it. It had been dropped in like the Vietnamese river somewhere. Yeah, well. <laughs> I held on to it tight and uh, for good reasons. Let's celebrate now. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Thank you. Jessica's mood has greatly improved uh, since since I proposed to her. Congrats, BB, to us. Yay! The race definitely made it solidify that she's going to be a great wife and will stand by my side regardless of the situation. Lots of memories in Vietnam over a 48-hour period. Yeah. Bittersweet. Uh, bittersweet country for us. I think our relationship will last. I think we've been through every single type of hardship possible and we're still here. Yay. You know, we're a team no matter what. <laughs>